Hey guys, it's Rosie. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be recreating a bunch of Harry Styles' iconic outfits. He has literally the best outfits and I love just like collecting pieces that remind me of his outfits or making them. Also, you're going to see a lot of homemade items. So I picked out five outfits that I really, really like and I'm going to be putting them on, getting all my accessories and everything and giving you guys a little fashion show. It should be super fun. I have all the outfits laid out already and they just look so great. Let's go. So here is outfit number one. This is the outfit that Harry wore to the Brits in 2020. My rendition is not 100% accurate because his suit was brown, first of all. I don't have a dark brown suit though, so I just picked this instead, these like flowy pants and then this black blazer. My pearl string is a little too short so it doesn't reach over, just things are not 100% correct. I have these like cloggy shoes on. They're kind of like platform-ish and I have white socks, but he had Mary Jane's on, which I couldn't find. I used to have a pair, but I didn't look super closely, but I like these better instead. I think they fit the outfit a little better. So here is outfit number one. This outfit is so hot, like with all the lights on in here. I'm like dying of heat. So if my face is red, that is why. But I am in love with this outfit. Um, I made this sweater. It's the iconic sheep sweater that Harry wore. They are so, so, so fuzzy. I'm going to give them a little trim so that we can actually tell that they are sheep. Right now, are they clouds? Are they sheep? We don't know. But I have this sweater that I made and I have a thrifted blue and white stripey button down that is really really big it's like a men's large or something so you can kind of see the bumps of it tucked into my pants so just don't mind that I also have these pants that I thrifted they're nice and flowy but they are a little too short for me I need to unhem them so that they're long enough for me and I also have the same shoes that I wore last time but I love this outfit I'm so happy with how it came out and it's just so comfortable and it feels like really me like I, it would have to be really extra to wear this out but honestly I feel like I would so yeah I love it so here's a close-up of the little sheepies you can't really tell they're sheep <laughs> but they are they're so soft I know we've all seen this outfit a million times so I had to recreate it this is the iconic sound check outfit with the JW Anderson cardigan this one I knit myself I think the original is like 1700 bucks or something crazy like that so we love a dupe I don't have a white shirt with blue text like he was wearing so I have this Jason Mraz tour shirt that I think it works pretty well with this outfit to be honest I also have the same pearl string and my favorite pair of blue jeans from L.L. Bean and then I think he was just wearing white sneakers so I have my white high tops as well. Honestly, it's on my bucket list to wear this outfit out and see like if anyone recognizes the reference. I feel like somebody would recognize it to be honest. I have had people say like, oh nice sweater while I'm out wearing this but I haven't had any Harry's come up to me yet. Maybe that could happen but yeah, here it is. But this outfit wouldn't be complete without a guitar. Harry is holding his guitar in some of the pictures. I know it's not black, but we can we can imagine. I also don't have a strap for this guitar. <laughs> This is the next outfit. I absolutely love this outfit. Like I said, I think I could wear it out. It's a little extra for sure, but honestly, I love it. I love the like jeans and the pearls together. I would never think of that, but Harry does it all the time, so we do all need to take a leaf out of his book, to be honest. Here's this outfit, and I'm gonna move on to the next one. So here's the next outfit, except I've been having such a hard time deciding which shirt to wear. So I picked out two options. This shirt has like the trim and the shape of the shirt Harry was wearing, but it's not quite the right colors. This is the shirt that Harry was wearing on the day that he and James Corden filmed the Daylight Music video in Brooklyn. I absolutely love this outfit. It's just so like chill and comfortable but still like really stylish so i'm going to show you guys the other shirt because i cannot decide between them 
I also don't have the same kind of necklace that he was wearing. That's why I have this like beaded bracelet. I thought it had the same vibes. But this is the other shirt that I picked out. It's not quite right though. So it's not like this same cut and it doesn't have the trim on the edges. So I picked this one. I think it matches more. But I also have this rainbow beaded bracelet that would have gone with this one. But I think the one I picked is slightly closer. So I have black sunglasses like he was wearing and this bracelet that I told you about. The shirt, the same jeans as the last outfit and my high tops again. I think I have worn this outfit before without the bracelet. This is just something that I would wear any day. <laughs> anyway, so it's nice that it just happened to be something Harry's worn as well. So yeah, I'm gonna move on to the last outfit. Here it is, this is the final outfit and this one is just like the showstopper because this is obviously the outfit that Harry wore on the fine line cover and to the fine line one night only in Los Angeles. Here it is, I haven't put on this outfit since my Love on Tour concert last October. The one time I've seen Harry in the flesh with my own two eyes. It just feels so weird to put it on again. I kind of want to get it off because I want to like keep it 100% pristine and nice. This top, I thrifted it. I think it's from Express, but I think it's like exactly perfect to the one that he wore. I just like kind of scored. I went to Goodwill and I was like, oh my God, this is it. It's super comfortable too. It's like really silky and smooth. Then I have these pants that I got from Zara. They have this little like button detail on the side, which is exactly what his pants have. They match so well. And then I'm also wearing these same platform shoes, which are not what I wore to the concert. I also wore this sweater vest that I knit. So on the front, it has the Fine Line album cover. So it's like a picture in a picture because I'm wearing this. And then I had this one over, but then here's this Fine Line album cover. And then on the back, it says Harry Styles, of course. I love this outfit. I actually have it hanging on my doorknob of my closet so that I can see it every day. It just makes me happy. I have it hung up like just like I wore it and it looks so nice. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of my Harry Styles inspired outfits. So make sure to follow me on all social media. There's a lot of Harry content on my Instagram. It's getting closer and closer to a fan page every day. Make sure to check out my Etsy shop, also at Rosier Bolts, where you can buy sweater vest just like this one or I also have one just like this which is the one that I made for my mom to wear so it says love on tour on the front and the same Harry Styles on the back. I have a couple more designs if you guys want those too. So that's on my Etsy store at Rosie Revolts. Um, you guys can also message me on Instagram or comment on YouTube or whatever you want to do if you want to buy one of these. Lastly, make sure to check out my book at getoutdoorsbook.com and I will see you guys later. Bye! Oh, and comment which is your favorite outfit. I think mine is either this one or the last one. Or the sheep one. Okay, I like them all. <laughs>